Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is The Bull, and in this video, we are going to be unboxing something very special. The reason why I say this package is very special is because what's in this box is not an editing program. It's not a shirt. It's not a game. It's not a... Ladies and gentlemen, what's in this box are living animals. Do not worry, what was in here was not a cat or a bird or any kind of rodent. It was not abused and shoved in a package. No, there are microscopic creatures in here. And they're in a jar full of nice water and plenty of food. But these are unlike any microscopic creature. In fact, they're unlike any other animal you've ever heard of. Well, that is unless you've already heard of them, of course. These are tardigrades also known as water bears, also known as moss piglets. What makes these animals so special is not their stubby body and eight legs, or the fact that they walk like bears, hence the name water bears, or the fact that they're numerous and moss lichen and algae all over the planet. No, what makes these guys so special is their resilience to extreme conditions. Tardigrades have been known to survive in ice caps, volcanoes, and even the vacuum of space. The secret to their incredible survival is their ability to enter a state called cryptobiosis and become a ton. During cryptobiosis, a tardigrade slows down or halts its metabolism, dehydrates itself of moisture, and synthesizes certain proteins and sugar that protect its cells. As a ton, it is neither dead or alive, but once rehydrated, it can easily come back to life. So why do I have tardigrades in the first place? Well, the answer for that is quite simple. I chose to experiment with them for a school science project, an experiment that I will be sharing with you guys in one of the next videos. So without further ado, let's get this thing open. All right, let's see what we got. This is not really important for what we're doing right now. This is just a thing about ordering. Now this, this is an algae culture, which is going to be the food source for my tardigrades. Now this is the good stuff. The tardigrades are actually in this container, and I actually have to open this immediately and aerate it so uh, I could replace the depleted oxygen that was in there. So let's do that right now. So I just gotta do this like four or five times. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next week for my experiment video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is The Mole signing off.